Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the supply crates, supply crates slash envoy plugin slash care package, whatever you want to call it. Um, this plugin is available on Spigot to buy. Uh, and when you buy it, you can receive all the updates that we do to the plugin, any new features that we add. Um, this plugin also comes with a completely configurable uh, config that you can use to customize the contents in the packages. Um, particles and holograms or whatever else that you should be able to customize so I'm gonna show you how to configure it later in the video but here's how it looks from in-game so to begin you're gonna do slash supply crates and by doing that it will show four commands that can do stop start stop edit and reload uh, obviously no reload just reloads the config um, and the main command that you're gonna be using is supply crates edit so when you do this, you're going to receive an emerald block in your inventory. Um, this emerald block dictates where the chests are going to spawn. So let's say I'm placing it in these spots. Um, yeah, and there's there's all these are all the supply crate locations. Uh, let's say I don't like this spot. I want to move it here. You can break it and replace it, and it's all good. You can see in chat. And uh, once I'm satisfied with the locations and the amount of them, I'm going to do the command again: supply crates edit. And it disables the mode, and emerald blocks disappear. Um, and now, in the config, there is an area where you can schedule the start and stop of these uh, supply crate drops. And uh, you can choose to start it manually with uh, supply crate start, or you can just wait for the automatic interval to interval to come in and automatically do it. So I'll show you what it looks like when you manually start it, and or wait for it to start with the interval. So we're going to do supply crates start and beacons fall from the sky and also that item that, that falls from the sky is configurable. You can choose what you want. Um, here's what they look like. Everything is configurable. Like I can't, uh, I'm going to continue to say that because everything you do um, so that you just claim the, you just right click it and it drops and then the items um, shows like who claimed it and then the crates left. Uh, this would be used for in like an arena of some sort. Um, chances and whatnot are in the config so let's continue to claim all these so I, we can show you what it looks like once it's finished and here's the last one and is that it yeah supply yeah. crate has ended so once all the crates have are gone have been like claimed the event ends and you wait for the next one or you wait for someone to manually start it um, again to edit it you're, you're gonna do supply crates edit and it shows locations they've been saved and you come over here and edit it let's say you want to remove all these locations you want to move the arena so you just break all of them and now the whole event has been cleared disable the edit mode and you're good uh, that's pretty much it for the in-game part anything else regarding this from the in-game part and or config will be in the spigot description and i'll show you i'll see you guys in the next clip goodbye okay guys welcome back um, here's the configuration for the Supply Crates plugin. Um, I'm editing this in Notepad++, and let's get started. So, to begin, it's th here's the time in auto end after start. This means how long should the Supply Crate drop last until it automatically ends. So right now, it's at 600 seconds, which is 5 minutes. So let's change this to... Um, uh, let's say 1,000 seconds, and I actually don't know what, how many minutes that is. Um, so, and then interval start. This is when, this is how long uh, you want them to automatically start. So let's say I want the supply crates to start every 1,400 seconds. Uh, and that's four hours in seconds, right there. So that means uh, the, supply the supply crate drop will automatically start every four hours. Um, <clears throat> down here, hologram. This is the hologram that appeared above the chest, as you saw in the beginning. So let's edit this and say, um, let's do, let's make it like this. So, and seven bracket and um, E and K I. There we do and seven bracket. Actually, let's change these to and eight brackets. Um, and then we're gonna do gonna get rid of this no we're gonna let's keep that and then we're gonna do and seven bracket and then we're gonna go and 
E supply crate. We're gonna do an seven bracket, and then an uh, eight and M, and then and eight bracket and E and K I and eight. And then that's how I would like it. Actually, let's make this. Uh, let's make these special characters gold. So let's make it N6. And there we go. Um, here's the particle. This is the particle surrounding the chest. I like flame, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and now here's the crate contents. So this is the amount of items. Amount of items um, like per chest. So uh, every time someone claims a chest, there's 10 items. And that's kind of a lot. So let's say I'm going to change it to 5. Um, for type, let's leave it at, at chest because then people will know to claim it. Um, I like the beacon block as the falling. Actually, we let's change it to sponge. So we're going to type sponge right there. Um, this is the default location, so no locations have been set. That's why there's a bracket right there. It will automatically fill once you create locations. Um, and now here's the items. So they all have to have a different character right here. Like This is like labeling the item. So for the material, let's uh, let's have God Apple. Yeah, let's do that's good. Let's have a chance of let's say God Apple's rare. Let's do 20% chance of having it. Um, and here's the lore. You can change that message or you can remove it. And by doing this, let's say I don't want a lore on it and just want God Apples. We'll just have two arrows like that. Uh, and let's not name it either. We'll just have it like this. And we're good. That's golden. Uh, material, let's do diamond helmet. That's good too. Let's have a chance of 20, 20% 20 chance again. Actually, let's do 30%. Okay. Uh, enchants, let's do protection four. And let's add another enchant respiration colon three. So that's respiration three. Um, let's leave the lore. I like the lore. And amount. Actually, let's change this amount for the golden apple to two, and or actually let's do four, and leave one diamond helmet. So that's how much they get. Um, and then yeah, yeah, you just keep going. And if you want to add more items, just I guess you could just cop, go like this, Control C, hit space, Control V, change the ID, make it uh, five. Yeah, make that five. Actually, come down here, hit space, and then fix the spacing on this. And we're good. Oh, we got it. There we go. Now we're solid. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's change this to beacon amount one uh, name. And F super beacon. There we go. Um, lore. We can leave the lore in chance. Let's remove that and have that chance at five. And pretty much it, guys. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. See you guys later. Peace.